Hi and welcome, this is a new video about Blender version 2.78 and I will do a short show off for an add-on called the multiple tools for carve and create objects. It's really amazing, it reminds me a bit of ZBrush or 3D code, you know, perhaps these cutting features from these applications. Let's have a look at this. Here is Blender 2.78, it's still not released but I installed it because in my opinion, Blender is stable before it is stable. <laughs> now let's enable my screencast keys and also this uh, OpenGL lights, like this really much. And now you can see this Blender add-on here. It is shipped with this version 2.78 and it's called the multiple tools for carve and create objects. The most important keystroke here is the Control shift x which enables this add-on. So let's see what we can do with this. Now I select my cube here, move it a little bit up and press the magic keystroke Control shift x to enable this add-on. And now you can see we have the possibility to do a difference operation. This means I cut into my object now with the default rectangular shape. This is the current cut type and as you can see I cut this rectangle directly into my cube. Now I press the space key to change my cut type to line and each time I press the left mouse button I add a new point to form a new shape and I defined a triangle, press the space key then, and then I cut a triangle here into my cube. Looks great. And now the last cut type is the circle. Again, I press the space key. Now I press the left mouse button, define the size of my circle. And now I have the possibility to press the Alt key and reposition this circle. Now press the left mouse button and again carved into my cube. Amazing feature in my opinion. Now let's do again a rectangular cut and perhaps again a line cut here at the lower right edge. Really cool. Now let me try something. I switch to Sculpt mode and then there is the possibility to do a dynamic topology, enable this and I want to, I want to symmetrize this object now. I am on the, yeah, on the Y axis. So select symmetrize from positive y to minus y. Okay, and press symmetrize and here we go. Yeah, looks great. And also for this symmetrized model, we can again carve in a shape like the circle here, position this and press left mouse button. Now I know this works really good with simple models, but what about high poly models in sculpting mode? Let's quickly create one and then come back into sculpting mode and use this add-on for this high poly mesh. Okay, we are done. 
this object doesn't look that cool but I think we have enough polys to work with and now let's try what the performance of our add-on is like switch to object mode press again Control, shift and x and select the rectangle to carve away some parts okay this was very fast also at the bottom here now let's switch to the cut type line and take away the edge and also this one yeah that's pretty cool so i think we have a winner here according to performance also so for the end of the video you can watch me playing around with this a little bit carving out things applying symmetry in sculpt mode just combining and trying some features of this add-on and thanks a lot to the developer Cédric Lepile I hope I pronounced this correctly you did a really great job Okay, my friends, thanks for watching and as I used to say, please subscribe to my channel and if you could afford it in any ways, also support me on my Patreon so that I have the time to create more tutorials like this in the future.